What is one of the first experiences you remember having with writing? Um, well, before, before my experiences with writing were experiences with just story. Probably I will go back to reading. I think like a lot of people it goes back to, for me at least, reading. Um, my sister read a lot to me, my sister Cheryl. Third grade, Mrs. Spilsbury was reading James and the Giant Peach to us. The more I read, the more I wanted to write. I think one of the first things I remember um, writing was, this is really nerdy, but in the third grade, I won the Young Authors Contest for my class. The very first experience was before I could really even write. I was in kindergarten, and my teacher asked us all what we wanted to be when we grew up. And I was the only one that said I wanted to be an author. When I was in high school, I had friends who were really into writing, and they wanted to write a story and wanted me to work with them. Some of my earliest memories are begging my mom to tell me a story before bedtime. And she was a good storyteller. I came, I came from a family of storytellers. I'm a history major, and so I wrote a lot of nonfiction. I, when I worked at the National Archives, I wrote a lot of the little plaques you see and things like that. Um, but I got to be a really big reader. Um, I feel like I remember my dad reading to my sisters and I at night um, when we were little. So we all created a world together with different characters in different places. Was when I was little, the one time when my dad really spent time with us was when he would read to us at night. He did radio voices and so he had all the voices down. And so I remember the borrowers in British accents and Laura Ingalls Wilder. And I remember that those voices just got in my head. And to the point where I would be walking around and I would be like narrating myself in third person, you know, <laughs> she walked up the stairs or whatever. And, and so I think that, that, that ear for voices just stuck in my head until I, it was like I was writing when I wasn't, it was just in my head, I wasn't writing it on paper. I would rush through eating my lunch just trying to make lunchtime go faster because reading time was after lunch and we would come in and sit down and listen to her read that story to us. Later, as I, as I learned to love reading, that was when I really started connecting with it. And as I learned to love books, then um, that became the connection that made me want to be able to create something like that. You know, I didn't know I wanted to be a writer. I just enjoyed making up stories for my friends to act out. When uh, I was little, even before I can remember, I had imaginary friends. That was the book that turned me on to reading, but also writing, because I just loved the imagination of the whole thing. And the older I got, the more I just realized how beautiful language is. Um, I loved worlds. I loved um, like escaping into them. I just did it for fun. I mean, even in college, I remember thinking, I'm going to write a poem in the style of Theodore Rookie and just like giggling like crazy as I wrote. You know, just, it was just fun for me to write. It was my recreation. For me, stories have always kind of made me feel a little bit more connected to him. Um, they make me think of him more. And it was the first time I remember feeling like there was something about me that might be special. And I would get so into that book that I know why the teacher got mad because I would be gone. I mean, just to the point where you could talk to me and I wasn't listening. I was just so into that book and um, so I just wanted to be part of something like that because that's kind of how I express myself. Uh, I may not be able to understand what's going on in my head until I write it down and then it makes sense. Uh, we'd have sleepovers and the adults would all go to bed and, and I, would, I would tell them stories after, after it was all dark and, and it was sort of like our, our little secret that we lived in this other world, you know. And as a kid you're always Wanting to, wanting to stand apart and to feel like there's something different about you. And that was the first time that I felt like I'd achieved something. And it made me realize what an awesome escape writing can be and how strong and powerful uh, language can be. I was always trying to write. I, I had a nightmare when I was seven and I always tried to write that story. And um, it evolved over the years, but I eventually did. It was just a lot of fun. And so I guess writing was the next step, you know, I, I want to tell stories and so I've got to write them down and that 
at nine years old, I stapled some pages together and told my brother, I'm going to be a writer. And I did. I wrote my, my very first book at nine years old was called The Hidden Doll Mystery. And uh, it was it was pretty sad, but it's, it's lost. I'm afraid. I, I don't know where it went. But I have my second one, The Mystery at Blueberry Farm. I still have that one.